Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. I am Ruvo if it is your first time here. If you've been here before, welcome back. You are part of the family. Today I am tackling something that I think is kind of the whole purpose of this channel, which is hair health. I want to talk about the main enemy of healthy hair, which is hair damage. Now there are a few things that could affect your hair or that cause hair damage. What I want to start with is why your hair becomes damaged in the first place, what hair damage looks like, and I'll go through some of the different ways that your hair can get damaged. And lastly, or while I'm telling you about the hair damage, each different kind, I want to share some ways to avoid or some ways to repair that damage. Let's get right into it and enjoy this with me. Hair damage itself as a concept is, well, as a reality, is something that happens externally, which means that it usually happens from outside of your body or it occurs from factors or things that happen outside of your body. These will be things such as friction. Friction happens when your hair rubs against something that is harsh or hard. Friction heat too much heat is bad for your hair the third and final thing will be chemicals any harsh chemical treatments that you do or use for your hair will be the third damaging factor the dangerous thing about chemicals is that they penetrate the protective layers of your hair so they get right into your hair underneath the protective layers they cause it to crack and they eventually cause it to break just like with anything before you fix the problem you have to identify that there is a problem natural hair or my type of hair is naturally dry it's more likely to be drier but extreme dryness will normally be the first sign that something is wrong normally you just need to hydrate your hair but there's that kind of dryness where you can see that hey man something is off something is off so dryness or freeziness another thing that people don't realize that causes your hair to be in a bad state is stress what happens when you are stressing is that the stress triggers hormones that puts your hair into resting mode which basically means that your hair stops growing completely for that period i will get into depth on that on another video but i just wanted to mention this in passing incorrect brushing and incorrect combing is another big factor one of the biggest factors because the way we handle our hair combs combs are extremely dangerous pulling brushing they're always tearing off our hair unevenly at that so these are some of the things that can cause the damage so let's get right into the different types of hair damage that you will likely experience our first thing will be split ends you have probably heard about split ends all over the natural hair community the problem with split ends is that i think that people don't normally know how to identify a split end so they end up just going ham especially with chopping and trimming their hair let's avoid trimming at all just avoid trimming i've never trimmed my hair I advise that you don't trim your hair if it is not damaged there are instances where your hair does need trimming but if it is not damaged do not trim your hair the best way to avoid split ends is just by taking care of your hair moisturize detangle as often as you can rather finger detangle i prefer to finger detangle it's the least harsh way to detangle your hair make sure you have time when you are detangling i find that with me the problem with detangling is that because it's such a long process, don't do it when you are pressed for time or if you are not in the mood. Because what will happen is that you are more likely to become impatient and you are more likely to start ripping out hair or to just resort to a comb or something. Do it when you have time. As with most of these issues, if you take good care of your hair, then you won't have problems. You won't need to do all this other extra stuff just to get your hair back to health. The second one that I want to jump into is color damage. The hair dye looks extremely cool on natural hair, on afros that I've seen. I myself have been tempted a few times to want to dye my hair. There are some reasons why you don't want to do it. Hair dye contains chemicals that strip your hair naturally. They just, they strip your hair, they cause it to break, they cause it to become brittle. I know it's, it looks tempting, but if you want to consider the long-term health of your hair, try and avoid dyeing. If you want to bring your hair back to health from dye, there are only maybe two options that you can do. The first option is that you can let the dye grow out. So you can let your hair grow out of the dye and, until the color is gone. Or you can cut it off completely. It's up to you. Cutting it off completely will likely be the healthiest way to do it. It takes a long time for your hair to come back to health once it's been through chemicals. If you don't care about all of that, 
and you still want to dye your hair, go ahead and do it. Treat your hair kindly, moisturize it and hydrate it while it's dying. Our following one will be mechanical damage. It's easy to confuse mechanical damage with the natural state or natural pattern of our hair. Naturally, natural hair tangles. It, it just shrinks up, it tangles, it goes back into itself. We do some things to try and straighten it out. For example, we try twist out, so we try to stretch it out, so that, but eventually it just comes back into itself. Mechanical damage looks a lot like your hair just being shrunken or having shrinkage, which people hate so much. Shrinkage is a beautiful thing, by the way, not to go on a positivity tangent, but if anything, it shows that your hair is healthy. The way to notice mechanical damage is your hair will always be shrunken up, will always be tangled specifically, not just shrunken, tangled right into each other, as well as thinning of your edges. So your edges will be quite thin. What causes mechanical damage? Mechanical damage is caused by hair manipulation. So this includes rough handling. If you are doing some different hairstyles, if you're braiding your hair, that's strenuous on your hair. When you are removing your weave or when you are just taking out braids, that's another way that causes stress to your hair. Now, I am not saying that do not have braids to take care of your natural hair. What I'm saying is that be gentle with your hair. Do it in such a way that is considerate to your hair. Work gently, work slowly. Don't just rip things out. Don't be rough. This is why it's so important to think about your decision when you are doing something. Anything that has to do with styling is so impulsive normally. We don't think about the long-term effects that it has on our natural hair. Keep in mind that the process of getting your hair back to health will be a long one. The following one, heat damage. Oh, the old famous heat damage. You do not bring heat to your hair. Hot combs, straighteners, hair dryers, those all cause heat damage. And the way that this happens is that they heat up your hair cuticle. Once your hair cuticle is heated, it becomes weaker, causing it to break off. Deep conditioning treatments do that regularly, especially protein treatments, because our hair is made up of protein. Something like 80% of protein is what your hair is made out of. So make sure that you are feeding your hair protein and you are also eating protein. That's another part that's important. What we put in into our bodies is also what comes out. Some people prefer to use heat protectants when they are using hot combs, blow dryers and everything like that on their hair. I do not have any experience with using a heat protectant. So I can't say much on whether heat protectants work or if they are beneficial because I just don't have the knowledge on that. If your hair is damaged, you can trim it. If you have gone through your hair, if you know what a split end looks like, you can have your hair trimmed. But have the knowledge. Don't just trim just because someone told you that you should be trimming your hair often, but you don't even know what a split end looks like. Secondly, moisturize your hair frequently. Your hair needs moisture. Very important. Drink water as often as you can. And at night, when you go to bed, protect your hair. Wear something satin. Have satin pillowcases or have bonnets. That is all that I have for today. Thank you for watching. I will be back with another video soon and we can talk more about hair if you have any comments about what I've discussed, what I've talked about, share your experiences in the comment section. Let's have a discussion. Bye.